Hi everybody, it's Ann and welcome back to the blog spot. Today we're going to talk about making a murderer and Andrew Colborn. But first I want to say that I've made a playlist for making a murderer and it will be in the top right hand corner at the end of this video. And I'll also put it in the description below this video. Okay, here we go. Making a murderer judge refuses to throw out Andrew Colborn's lawsuit against Netflix. And this comes from Post Crescent, and it came out on January 3rd. A federal judge in December 2019 refused to dismiss a lawsuit brought by retired Manitowoc County Sheriff's Office. Lieutenant Andrew Colborn against Netflix and the filmmakers who created the docuseries Making a Murderer. Colborn was featured in Netflix Making a Murderer, which tells the story of the cases against Stephen Avery and his nephew, Brendan Dassey. The docuseries cast doubt on the motives of police investigating Hallback's D-E-A-T-H and left many viewers with the impression that Avery and Dassey were wrongly convicted. Colborn's lawsuit claims the docuseries defamed him and falsely led viewers to the inescapable conclusion that Colborn and other police planted evidence to frame Avery. In May, Netflix asked a judge to dismiss Colborn's lawsuit, at least with respect to Netflix, claiming that he has not plausibly alleged that Netflix was negligent in distributing the docuseries. Lee Levin, an attorney for Netflix, argued at a December 19 hearing that Colborn's allegations weren't specific to Netflix, but instead had been generally directed at all of the defendants, which also include filmmakers and their independent production company. Netflix was responsible for distributing the docuseries, but wasn't responsible for reviewing court documents or other aspects of the film's production, Friedman said. George Burnett, an attorney for Colborn, argued that the defendants collabed to produce a docuseries that was misleading and deceptive and came close to destroying Colborn's life. U.S. District Judge Pamela Pepper declined to dismiss the lawsuit citing arguments from an amended complaint proposed by Colborn's attorneys that contains specific allegations against Netflix rather than against all of the defendants lumped together. As soon as I get more information about the city of Manitowoc's response to Stephen Avery's new evidence, I'll let you know. Okay, that's going to do it for me. Thank you for stopping by the channel. Please like the video, share the video, post your comment, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.